are minimalists. Is there an app that can delete copies slash multiples of photos on my smartphone? I have so many, literally thousands, and it's just way too time consuming to review them all to find and delete the redundancies. So hmm. I have a few best practices that I use here. So number one is I have a trigger to go into my camera roll anytime I hop on a flight. Now you and I, we fly more than your average person. So it doesn't, that doesn't have to be your trigger. But what can be your trigger? Maybe it's every, every time you go to the DMV or the doctor's office, the, anytime you're waiting in line somewhere. Maybe it's anytime you go to Chipotle yeah. and you have to wait in that long line. Yeah. I just go through my most recent photos and delete anything that I don't want there anymore. Now, if I do that enough, if we're flying enough, for example, then I have very little work to do. Before the plane even takes off, I've gone through and deleted everything I want to delete. Yeah. Now, during the pandemic, it didn't fly at all. And so last time I hopped on a plane, it was like, oh, man, I'm going to be spending this whole flight <laughs> deleting some photos. And that's okay. Yeah. The key is doing it more frequently. And so during the pandemic, I probably could have used a better trigger. What's something that happens at least once a month to you yeah. that will trigger that simple behavior of decluttering the, the camera roll? Here's one other thing I do, because the best way to, do, to avoid the clutter is to not bring it home in the first place. Mm -hmm. Now, that is especially true with our phones because it's so easy to clutter them with photos. Mm -hmm. So I learned this from my friend, our friend, Adam Dressler, who's a photographer. And he was talking about going to um, uh, physical film, which Jordan knows all about. Jordan does a lot of physical pictures. In fact, he was showing Ella, he let her take a few uh, film pictures the other day with his film camera and she wanted to see the picture right <laughs> afterward and didn't realize like oh i i have to get it printed out and all of these other things right yeah. and in in that experience she realized that you have to be very deliberate about the photos you take you can't just snap 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 because mm -hmm. you'll run out of photos very quickly right yeah. and so last night when i was at the da vinci thing it was snapping the one photo it's yeah. treating digital photos as though they are film photos yeah now that causes all kinds of problems sometimes my thumb will, or finger will end up in the picture mm -hmm. now that's just a beautiful part of the of the process mm. or maybe the, the the picture is blurry okay but now i've in, in a way it almost enhances it, it because i i wait around it makes me intentional because if i have unlimited photos on my phone which i essentially do i can just be there the whole time bah, 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 taking pictures the whole night but if it's i, I can only take one picture tonight Man, I better be one, I better be intentional with the one bullet I have because I can't <laughs> I can't do more than one. Yeah. And in a way that is also freeing. It's a freeing boundary. Yeah. I uh my trigger is when I take like I've did my mom's in town and my little niece and we'll take like a selfie and I'll do like, I don't know, two or three of the same thing. Yeah. And then I just my trigger is to go in right away and delete any duplicates. Okay. So that way I avoid duplicates in the future uh -huh. so that's another thing you do too just uh what what is it what, what do you what do you call it you like clean as you go along yeah it makes it way easier than if you just like let it all build up that's right yeah yeah because at some point you don't realize it, but oh crap i'm a year in two years in a decade in my camera roll is just a hoarder's paradise <laughs> or a hoarder's nightmare really mm. did you enjoy this video if so, you can listen to full episodes of the Minimalist Private Podcast available exclusively on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash the minimalists today. Your support keeps our podcast and YouTube channel 100% advertisement free.